It receives millions of your tax dollars to help the developmentally disabled. But a five on your side investigation tonight has uncovered missing cash, an ex-con, and plenty of questions. On your side, Chief Investigator Ron Regan joins us tonight with his exclusive investigation. Ron? Well, Danita, there are new allegations tonight. The man we tracked down was already indicted for stealing from clients with Down syndrome and other disabilities. Now he's charged with ripping off a thousand bucks from a 19 year old woman who needed the cash for moving expenses. And we found Ohio has little financial oversight. John Bleach has Down syndrome. He loves you and, and you know it. His sister says John was living here in this home operated by a private company that serves the mentally disabled. And this man was the district director. I wanted to ask you about these theft charges. I don't have it. <laughs> Shane Snuffer is charged with stealing from the very people he was supposed to be helping. According to this 28 count indictment, for theft. Seemed like a good old boy, a, a southern accent. But we found he's an ex-cop who served time in federal prison. Court records say he stole $14,000 from his own department back in West Virginia by transferring funds into his own account. It was unauthorized wire transfer. It's my fault. I mean, I didn't fight it. I just pled guilty to it. Now he's accused of stealing again according to charges filed by police. The charges essentially say you stole from 11 mentally right. disabled people. Any right. of that true? Not, not, not one penny of their money went to me. I'll just say that. I really, truly don't know how anybody can take advantage of somebody that can't fight back. So how could an ex-con even get hired to manage the finances of the disabled? That's what Melitza Pavia wanted to know. I was screened so severely to be a cashier that like to hire someone that's a criminal in a director's position overseeing handicapped kids money that's just beyond me. Pavia says she worried for months about how her 20 year old daughter was being cared for. I had been calling everybody everyone and everyone the whole year the whole year had gone wrong. Then last January she found Snuffer's criminal conviction in a two-second Google search. I actually called his employer in Indiana um, just asking the question, why does it take a mom in the suburbs to do your job for you? He was fired after Pavia's phone call. A company statement said Snuffer lied on his application, provided false information, and a background check failed to turn up his criminal record. Did you tell your employer about your our theft original, conviction? Yes, sir. Our original director, I did. The company that handles lots of money for the disabled denies that. And while there are no allegations that more money is missing, the company handles millions of dollars. And we found something else. Regular routine financial audits are not required by either county or state agencies overseeing the disabled in Ohio. Wouldn't be each week. No, 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 no. Wouldn't be each month. No. Wouldn't be every six months. No. Wouldn't be every year. No. Special compliance reviews, we can call for those if we think there's anything wrong, and we do. Well, Cuyahoga County's program is one of the most respected in the state. It has the only forensic auto team in Ohio, but it doesn't have the budget or the authorization for regular audits. Now, tomorrow, I'll show you what those auditors are finding out now, and as a result, some big, big changes ahead. I'm Chief Investigator Ron Regan. All right, thank you, Ron.